bring you for Mother's Day on the show today with special ideas to celebrate. And high tea is our next one, which I love to do with my mom. So here to show us how to do it in proper British style is Lorraine Simpson. <laughs> the right woman for the job. Very nice. Hello. Hello. Just put my tea down. Why don't you do that? Yes. Now, you've actually owned a couple of tea rooms, haven't I have. you? Yes. One in the Cotswolds in England yeah. in the 90s, which I used to run with my mom. Nice. And then I had one in Niagara. And Maddie, my daughter, and Oscar mm -hmm. used to be the servers. And they used to wear the beautiful little costumes. It Aww. was so cute. Yes, it was lovely. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we would make her afternoon tea, but we'd have to call it high tea here. Okay, so we're wrong when we call it high yes, tea. You're so wrong. What's, what's it it's, supposed to be called? I'm wrong. So it's wrong. afternoon tea. It's if afternoon you call tea. it high tea, so in England, yeah. high tea is eggs on toast, beans on toast at sort of 5.30 in the afternoon for oh, the kids. For the kids. For the kids. So if you ask for high tea in England, yeah. you're going to get beans on toast at 5.30. That's not what yes, we that's want. not really what we want. No. <laughs> so if you so it's afternoon tea you want, and that's where tea. you get all of the beautiful the scones, as she has told scones. me. I was saying it wrong. It's a scone, not a scone. Yes, that's a posh way. It's the posh way. So let's talk first about the tea. Should okay, we talk well, about the tea? Yes. So, tea? so the tea has to be loose leaf tea. Okay. Um, and, and I do like to say it has to be in a matching teacup and tea saucer. Oh. And it also, so often these are handed down through generations and families. So it means something, you yes. know? It's lovely. Um, now, yeah. let's talk about the afternoon tea itself, mm -hmm. shall we? So it was a tradition dating back into the 1800s when the Duchess of Bedford used to decide that in the afternoon she was hungry. I like this um, woman already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm these. hungry too in the afternoon. What do you got? So they would have all sorts of little bits and pieces like this, you know. Uh -huh. So let's start at the top. Let's they would that. have cakes and little fancies. Um, this is more of a sort of a homemade thing. It came from the travel cafe, as you know, yeah, used to have nice. that in Front Hill. Um, and you can add things, you can buy things from the supermarket even, yeah. dip your strawberries in some chocolate mm. and just make a lovely little dis display on the top, that's your sweet layer. Okay. And then in the middle you've got your scones. The scones. Now, plain scones or raisin scones, that's the tradition. Yeah. And then you're going to be splitting them in half and putting in clotted cream which is yes. this here. Yes. Well, this is very expensive. So what I do is I water it down with some regular whipping cream. Okay. So one part of this, two parts of whipping cream. Okay. No flavors, no, no sugar, no vanilla, nothing. Yeah. And then that's your jam. And jam here, cream, cream first. That's how the queen did it. You mean cream, cream first. first on the scone? Yes. Okay. And then jam. Yeah. Got it. Uh, served warm, preferably. Yes. At the bottom, you've got the sandwiches. Cut the crusts off. Use an electric knife to cut the crusts off. Ooh. Oh, it's a nice and makes them all posh and beautiful. Okay. Um, and you've got egg salad, not messed with, nothing else in it, just egg salad. Got it. Cucumber cream cheese. And then this is my favorite. This is the coronation chicken made for the Queen's coronation. And it's okay. these are the ingredients for the coronation chicken. So okay. it's just a chicken breast. Yeah. I boil it. Okay. Um, and then cut it up. I've got some curry powder, yep. mayonnaise, uh -huh. raisins, mango chutney, mm. mix it all together, yeah. and that makes your coronation chicken. You want it quite wet and smushy. Okay, all right, like a chicken it's salad. Like a, it's like wet. a chicken salad. We can talk about where you've had tea around the world. Oh, You've well, had I've quite a gosh. few good afternoon teas. Oh, yes. I, I love it. I take a tour every other year, yeah. and I go to England and take people to beautiful tea rooms, oh, and we'll nice. go to the bus in London. Right? Yeah. Bridget's Bakery has a bus. It's an old-fashioned um, double-decker bus, and, uh -huh. and Maddie and Oscar loved it too, and they, they, they even serve warm scones on the bus nice. as you're going around London, and you can see all the sights, and you're having afternoon tea. I wish it's I knew really that cool. when I was there. It's now we're going to have to go back just to do that. That's beautiful. Yes. My other favorite in London, if you do go to London, is the Orangery at, Con at Kensington Palace. I okay. do really love that one. Okay. Um, but there are lots in England, mm -hmm. and even the smaller places off the beaten path are, the, are, are, are wonderful to do. Um, but let's take it right back home to Toronto. Yeah. Look at this, Tracy. I know you're standing in front of it. I feel like you're guarding it, really. I am a little I, bit. I, I, like, I do. please don't touch my makeup kit, because I can eat everything in here. This is Let's the talk beauty about this. box. The beauty. The beauty box from the W Hotel in oh, Toronto. How 
how cool is this? You know, you've got all the elements of a of an afternoon tea. I, mean, I have to say afternoon tea, high tea. All yeah. the elements of what you would know as high tea here in Canada. And everything is edible. This is made of fudge. And then Look you've got all these beautiful little sandwiches and you've got... Oh, I broke my purse. I oh, guess I better no, eat it. You better eat it. And then, uh, Tracy, you need, you know, do you need any lipstick here? Let this is a beautiful a red lipstick. Up. And it's, you know, it's made of chocolate. Uh-huh. Oh, Tracy! <laughs> You chocolate you. Animal. You love your chocolate. <laughs> it's but, very good. And then look at this. They've really been very creative. Clotted cream, night cream. It's the oh, clotted so night cream. I love it. So that that's here in Toronto. Let's go all the way across the country again, and we'll you can go, go anywhere to... you want. I'm good right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know my scones. My scones are legendary. I mm -hmm. I'm very well known for my scones, but the scones at the Empress Tea Room are equally as good, if not. I have to say better. Where is that? Uh, the Empress Tea Room in Victoria. Mm. And beautiful afternoon tea there. Mm. Um, you can also go, recently I was in Istanbul mm. at the Sharan Palace. I felt like a princess. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, and I had afternoon tea. Behind me was the Bosphorus. And it was served in a beautiful, like a bird cage. Oh my and, gosh. Uh, oh, it's lovely. Beautiful. I love around that we can go around the world and get this beautiful tea. Um, and especially the one that's that come in a makeup box. It's so good. Thanks.